What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of C3 Comics. As always, I am the host, C3. Before we get started, I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel, as I always do. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I want to thank everybody for all their support, leaving those uh, encouraging comments, giving me the fluid and the drive and the energy that I need to keep doing what I'm doing, which is having fun, sharing my passion and love for comics. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right? So listen, before we get started, let's, congratu let's congratulate our homie over there, uh, Flash by Night, who was the winner of the Keeping Comics giveaway from last week. So congratulations, Flash. That thing is on the way. All right? So enjoy, homie. That's yours. No additives, no preservatives. I appreciate you. So listen, let's jump right into the hall. I got a bunch of new comics to show you guys. I'm excited about it. Um, so without further ado, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you ring that bell. So every time I do a video, you guys will get that notification. All right? So let's do it. We're going to start with DC. I only grabbed one DC this week. And you guys know the only reason I grabbed this book, as I said before, is because I'm a sucker for yellow covers, man. This thing was laying on the shelf and it was crispy as I don't know what. It's that Future State Tim Drake cover. I just had to add this to the collection. This thing is beautiful. All right. So now that we got DC out of the way, <laughs> we're going to keep pushing and we're going to jump right into Marvel. So Marvel, from Marvel, I picked up that Donny Cates, that Thor, issue number 12. Definitely can't wait to get back into Thor. It seems like it's been a long time. So I can't wait to read that one. All right, next up from Marvel, I grabbed the Immortal Hulk, Flatline, issue number one. And I got to tell you guys, I already read it. It's not a bad story. You know what I mean? Uh, another one of those, he wakes up not knowing where he was, not what happened, what took place the night before. Because you know how Hulk do. Hulk do his own thing. Hulk living his life, Banner living his two separate lives. But the outcome is, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um spoil it for you. But it's a good read. It's an excellent read. I enjoyed it, and I would definitely, you know, share this comic with somebody if they wanted to read this comic. All right, so Hulk, Flatline, issue number one, good stuff. Next up from Marvel, I grabbed Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue number 23, and I got that Black History Month tribute variant. And if you guys know like I know, Miles is hot right now. All things Miles. So don't sleep. Make sure you grab it. Next up from Marvel, I grabbed The Champions Outlawed, issue number four. Again, that Black History Month variant. And that is a beauty, isn't it? It actually seems like a close-up of a, of a cover that we already have seen before. But it's very, very nice. Very nice seeing Riri up close. In her new suit. Next up from Marvel. Another Donny Cates book. And that is King in Black. Issue number four. And man oh man. Look at that cover. You see you see who's on the cover? Yeah so we get a little surprise on the inside of this. So make sure you check it out. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But you get a couple of surprises in here. And I'm going to tell you right now, your boy Dylan, yeah, Dylan's a beast, man. And he's just a kid. So just imagine when he's developed. I like what Cates is doing with him. Don't hate, congratulate. I like what Cates is doing. Cates is excellent for this book. Perfect. That's right up his alley. Next up, also from Marvel, same title, different color, different cover, King in Black, issue number four. 
the connecting variant. Now I just got to dig back and find the other cover so I can match them up, make sure they're together. Beautiful. Beautiful. This one, I couldn't pass this up. I mean, this was a beautiful cover. When I saw it, I was like, man, it took me a minute. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting it anyway. So again, same title, different cover. King in black with that Silver Surfer Black Dragon joint. Look at that. Tell me that isn't a beauty. Happy to add that to the collection. And like I said, the story is well worth it. And as you can see, I have a few copies of those. Now, also, I couldn't leave this on the shelf either. So I had to grab it too. Again, same title, different cover. King in Black, issue four, that Biederman cover. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think about this cover? And I'm telling you, not to mention, the story is not bad at all. It's a great story. That cover is awesome. I love this cover. This is, To me, this is one of the hotter Biederman covers. He's done a few for, so far, but that's one of the hottest ones. All right? So those are all the books that I grabbed from Marvel. What do you guys think about that? Huh? Not bad, right? Not a bad pickup. So right now, we're going to jump into our indie books, all right? And the first book I'm going to show you guys is one that I've really been looking forward to reading this book. I haven't read it yet. I want to make sure that I'm in the right frame of mind because I want to be able to give this book my undivided attention. And plus, I want to read it from a non-judgmental place. I really want to be able to, to take in the story, to take in what the writer is trying to... um get me to see and get me to understand what what is, what is the writer and what is the artist trying to show me. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And this book is coming from Scout Comics and it is issue number one of Black Cotton. So this will probably be in my review uh, coming up this weekend. I'll let you guys know how it is. Matter of fact, it will be in the review. I'll let you guys know how it is, whether I like it or I don't. Because uh, I actually heard about that book. Um, who was it talking about that book? I believe it was uh, Bueller who mentioned it a while back. And it didn't come, but it came out this week. So I grabbed it. So I was looking for it. And I'm glad I did because... Um, I want to see. I'm interested, you know, I'm, and I'm going to reserve judgment for later. All right. So next up, coming from Boom Studios, I grab Abbott, issue number two, 1973. It's the beautiful cover. Next. This book is coming from Aftershock, and it is the final uh, issue of We Live, issue number five. We Live, issue number five. Definitely looking forward to reading this ending. Get, get done with this ending, and then we can start the new story arc. All right? Next up, this book I heard about coming from OG Comic, OG Comics, OG Comics. Check him out. He's doing big things over there. I would like to see more people subscribe to this brother because he has a lot of knowledge of what's going on in the comic book community. He has a lot of information. So I would love to see more people subscribe to this dude, man. So check him out. OG 
Key Collective comics. Check them out. Even if I'm saying his name wrong, even, even if I'm mispronouncing the handle, find him because he's worth the find. He's got a good he's got good information over there. All right. I've been hollering at him back and forth for so long that I just call him OG now. I don't forgot about the rest of it. So find him. Check him out. See what he's doing over there. All right. But I found this book. He mentioned he mentioned this book. He brought this book to my attention and I grabbed it. And um it is Shadow Doctor, issue number one. Definitely find him. The OG key collector, definitely find him, man. He's got good stuff over there. I know that I'm going to read that book, uh, Black Cotton, and but those are the books that I know that I'm going to definitely be paying a lot of attention to just because of their backstories and the, and the little descriptions that I've heard about them. You know, so I'll let you guys know how those turn out. All right, so moving right along. The next book that I picked up, this was strictly a cover buy. And... It had nothing to do with the title, but kind of, sort of, Black Friday, you think about it, during the holidays, everybody's going crazy for Black Friday, what's this book about? But the reason I picked this book up is because the cover reminded me of the creature in the Red Mother, if you think about it. Just take a look, right? It kind of reminds you of the figure. In Red Mother. So that's why I picked this up. But I will crack it open. Give it a quick toss over and see what it do. And I'll let you know what it's about. Right? Now. Next up is a book that I've been reading for a while. And I've been waiting for this final book to come out. This final issue to come out. Um, and it just took forever. But I'm glad it got here. And, I, and I'm definitely looking forward to reading it. If you guys haven't been reading this. You will love it. And this is uh, Excellence. And this is issue number 10. Excellence, issue number 10. Next book that I picked up, um, coming from Image Comics, and this is W. Maxwell Prince, Ha Ha, cover A. Issue number two. I like this cover. I also grabbed Ha Ha issue number two, cover B. Really feeling the eeriness of this cover. And I like how the balloons have the, the images of the skulls on the inside. I love it. I hope the, I hope I hope issue number two is as good as issue number one. I'm hearing that they're all standalone, just like how the ice cream man was. So I'm hoping that this second issue is just as good as the first one. All right? Keep my fingers crossed. All right? So, we're coming down to the wire. All right? So, this book is coming from IDW, and you know I had to grab it because we've been waiting on it forever, and this is the, the last Ronin, issue number two. Definitely, 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 Looking forward to reading this baby right here. So my weekend is going to be jam-packed full of good reading. Definitely. I just want to show you the back. I like that all red back cover. It's dope. I like that. Very fond of red, I am. Don't worry. I will take the time. I will grab my... soft fibers and I will clean this cover this book and free it of all my fingerprints and you know the problem is is we don't have any bags and boards that will fit this thing so you know I guess we'll work it out later on but I also was able to get at 1 in 10 Look at that. 
Man, I was happy to get my hands on one of these. Because I'm gonna when I read that one, you know, once you pop that open, man, you're gonna you're gonna lose a you're gonna lose a grade. You know, you can only be but so careful. So you know when you pop it open, you're gonna lose a grade. So but I wanted to make sure that I, I, I'm able to keep this one crispy. So I'm excited about having this one in the collection, adding it to my collection, just letting it sit and chill. Yeah. I kind of I, I I barely want to even touch it. You know, but these bags, I got it in like a plastic. Well, we just we need some bags and boards for these. Who's ever cutting the book, man? We need some bags and boards, baby. We need some bags and boards. The magazine bags and boards are too big, man. It's sliding all over the place. It's awkward. But I'm, a prob I'm probably going to have to put it in one of those for now anyway. So I'll definitely do that. All right? So there you have it, folks. Those are the comics that I picked up for New Comic Book Day this week. I hope you saw something you like. If you think I missed something, leave a comment down below. I'll probably double back and grab it if it sounds interesting enough. All right? I got no problem going to get some of that comic book goodness, man. And listen, before we go, we got to do another Keep It Comics giveaway. We have to do another Keep It Comics giveaway. All right? And listen, all you have to do to be a winner is, number one, be a subscriber to C.3.Comics. Number two... Leave an encouraging comment in the comment section. And number three, listen out for the next New Comic Book Day video and find out who the winner is. All right? So you know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Don't hate. Congratulate. And as always, keep it comics.